Hello there everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe, and I'm going to show you around the C64 Mini's 1.2.0 firmware upgrade. Came out today, and I'm going to show you around some of the new features, and um, yeah, let's take a look. So as you can see here, we're on 1.2.0. It's worth noting that uh, you cannot roll back once you're uh, upgraded, so if there's some reason perhaps you may want to stay behind, then uh, don't upgrade now. All right. So, um, let's take a look at a couple of items first. The major items are virtual keyboard support for a virtual joystick via keyboard. A brand new game has been added, and it's actually a really good one. It's called Galencia and uh, Galencia Mini, and the um, the uh, this was a Kickstarter game. I backed it. I have the full version of it as well. Uh, it's very cool that they license this out. It's really neat. It's a, it's a Galaga clone, so that's really neat. So th this new game, let's go ahead and we'll just pop in here real quick. So this is a it's a very cool little uh, you know Galaga game. It's it's pretty uh, pretty full featured too. Uh, you've got a capture guy. He'll come down and capture your ship. They shoot. Blah blah blah. Of course, I just missed that one. But, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's a nice little diversion. I think this guy will capture me now, right? So it's just like a good old Galaga game. Pretty impressive for a Commodore 64. And of course, you can shoot him loose if I don't end up dead. There you go. Pretty cool. It's a nice little addition to, uh, to throw in here. The other uh, two items are pretty hard to see, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug a keyboard in, a standard Dell uh, wired keyboard, and uh, you're going to see that with this keyboard plugged in, I'm going to shoot some video here with the keyboard, um, with this keyboard plugged in you can actually use the number pad to select, ups and up and downs work, right, as well as fire buttons, um, the, uh, the triangle left and right, sorry, the triangle left and right, um, these buttons map to various fire buttons. This is the menu. And uh, there's a couple of different configurations. One configuration with the caps lock on, and one configuration with the caps lock off. The standard uh, four direction um, is uh, with the caps lock off, I do believe. So that's kind of neat. So you can use this as a second controller if you want to play with a friend. Um, and you only have the one joystick, and you don't have a different one. So this is kind of cool. A uh, nice little addition. I'm not sure how many people will use it, but I'm sure somebody will. And the last item is, uh, as you know, there are many games if you go to um, your own... And there we go. thought something was missing there. And now you can see I have a whole bunch of Commodore 64 games on here. This has been around for a while. But one of the neat things that uh, I put together was something called the CJM Configuration Tool, which allows you to create individual game configurations for uh, the various emulation properties. A lot of games, such as uh, uh, perennial favorite here, Ghostbusters. Um, Ghostbusters is a port 1 joystick game. Well, the C64 Mini defaults to port 2, so a lot of people may not know that um, there's ways you can change this Ghostbusters into actually working on port 1. Um, but you have to make a configuration file, and I have a tool online to do that to make it easier. But uh, to take this one step further, oh, I didn't mean to launch that. To take this one step further, the developers have added a neat little feature. For all of these games that uh, support a similar configuration, say port one controllers, you can actually gather up all the games that would require port one and put one single configuration file within that folder. And so we're going to look here and uh, we'll take a look at a, a simple configuration on this, uh, on this layout. As you can see here, I'm in the port one games folder and within that folder there's a single configuration file. If you name it exactly right, which is like just what you see here, then that configuration file will take effect for all three of those games. So essentially I created this configuration file that simply traded out port 2 as the primary as port 1. I saved the file in here as the proper name and now all of these files will play in the emulator on the C64 Mini 
uh, with port one controls. So that's a that's a really neat uh, little thing. So you can group common games that use common configurations, not have to have a separate configuration for each one. Well, listen. Overall, those are the three big items. So uh, I hope you enjoyed having a look at this. Uh, very nice. So just to summarize here, we got Galaxia Mini. Uh, we have a uh, virtual keyboard that acts as a, or a keyboard that acts as a virtual joystick, of course. And then we have the uh, multiple configurations within a folder using a single file. So not too bad for a nice little update. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, stick around to watch some other videos. Subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends. This is Shane Armandro. Thanks so much for watching.